Hey Capricorn, I'm here to do your weekly mini love forecast for next week. This is going to be a three card spread for April the 18th through April the 24th, 2016. And if you're wondering what I'm listening to in the background, it is throat chakra healing because I've been overusing my voice. So I wanted to get these readings up for you guys so that you can kind of reflect and get some warnings for the next week. <laughs> Um, it kind of doesn't do it any good, you know, if I do it. You, I actually start readings midweek sometime. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but anyway, so I just, this is just a three-card spread. Just a glance, really. It's like um, present, past, and future. And this is for the Capricorn. All right, this is the GOAT. Capricorns are always, they have to be admired by their family or they will leave and go away and never come back. <laughs> they don't take no mess. All right. Okay, so um, this is a really good spread. And, I, and you have an angel message also because you have a repeating number six. Um, there's all balance. Um, that I'm seeing currently the six of swords um, literally means this is quick movement that you've recently done Capricorn away from a bad situation so I see some of you Capricorns some of y'all done moved house all of a sudden like and it was a lot of destruction in your life I could see that right now it's not like things are so much better now like because you've gotten out of that it was almost like Oh my God, I got out of this with my life. That's kind of how this Six of Swords is. That's how severe it is. But it's a six, so it shows that you overcame it. And um, so in, in, in the illustration, it's a, it's a man in a hot air balloon. And he is literally flying above the earth and the whole earth is just burning. All the land, is all the land there's no uh, safe place except for up in this uh, balloon with these six swords hoisting the balloon up. Um, not only that, the top of the crown of the head of the person in the boat or in the hot air balloon, the energy is what's, that energy is what is keeping the balloon afloat. So um, I sense some really deep connection with spiritual energy, um, almost like you, um, became a witch or something to be honest with you um, Now in the past you got the five of coins. So this is a lot of chaos and destruction in your life just recently Okay Five of coins, you know, this may not resonate for all of you, but there's some of you Capricorns out there that really have and and Judging by it being the six of swords um, This was long term possibly Depending on how old you are, there's this energy following you around, making you scared of, of, of everything. It's very chaotic. And, and, and your belief of, your disbelief in yourself, you're, you're almost like being controlled by other people that are watching you. There's this eye that's watching you, that's making you do the things that you're doing. But the five of coins always has a message of hope because in the background, there's a church and there's two pillars coming up like the twin towers They're and they're lit up. So you can tell that there's warmth inside of the church, but you have to find your way to it. And, and it's also the church is yourself. I don't know why people don't understand that a lot of people don't. Um, the pentacle is about, this isn't about money at all. This is about earth, air, fire, and water. This is about your imbalance with um, the energies around you as well as um, the spirit. Now, this is a beautiful card in the future. You got the six of wands. So this points to male energy and this points to a man saying, this is my woman. 
this is a marriage card. The Six of Wands, I can see some of you Capricorns, you're going to be getting married. You're going to be getting proposed to, or you're going to meet somebody that is going to end up being your husband, so you better play your cards right. Um, this is a beautiful card. It is a balance. So, But I do want to, before I get out of here, <clears throat> I want to give you this message from the angels, Capricorn. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I have to look them up because I, I need to bookmark my page, but um, this is a numerology thing that I'm doing and I always look at it because I'm always in, interested in it. So the angel number six brings a message from the angels to keep a balance between your material goals and aspirations and your spiritual side. So this means do not just do anything for money, okay? Because these things can create imbalance. This is also the energies of unconditional love. So, so some of you um, Capricorns are going to meet a mate that loves you unconditionally. And this person is going to be very nurturing. Um, the angels want you to keep a balance. Again, through your material goals and aspirations and your spiritual inner self. Respect yourself and others by taking responsibility for your own life and be honest and fair in all of your dealings. So this is about doing the right thing. This is also about manifesting through your karma. I know that I wouldn't want to do bad things or do or even be around bad people. Sometimes being around bad people can bring bad karma to you. So the angel number six encourages you to be loving, caring, and nurturing of yourself and others. Okay, And also to make sure that you pay attention to angelic signs and signals and maintain a positive attitude because these are the things that, that are going to manifest. If you tell yourself that your life is crap and you're a broke loser or you know there ain't no good man, well, you're not going to find a good man and you're not going to see a good man if he's standing right in front of you. So if you want a personalized reading, check me out on my website. Make sure you sub and thumbs up this video thank you and i love to see comments definitely leave me comments and feedback i love to interact with you guys um also go to my website and check me out i'm on chat so if you have like a quick question about your reading that you just want to ask me real quick i may be i may be online to answer your questions okay all right talk to y'all later peace